everyone, welcome to Saigon, welcome to Vietnam, um, Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon to be precise. If you're looking for somewhere to eat, uh, where you find Western food and Vietnamese all in one place, then apparently Fatty's Sports Restaurant is the place to go and that's where we're heading tonight. Um, yeah, I'm going to check this place out, it's supposed to be good value for money, it's a place where all the um, expats go, very popular amongst the expats within this uh, area. And to get there, I'm going to walk down this absolutely fantastic little street, it's full of puzzling with life, um, people dancing, music playing. This place is amazing, it really is, I'm really pleased to be here. And yeah, so without further ado, let's go and check out Fatty's Sports Restaurant. Restaurant Sports. Loads going on here, this is like just a street. Um, I've got to hold my camera close to me because it's uh, pretty renowned in Vietnam for people to drive past and just stretch, snatch things out of your hand. So I've got to be a little bit careful. Yeah, look at this. Loads of entertainment going on. And uh, I'm heading towards Fatty's Sports Restaurant. Fatty's Restaurant, spelt with a P H, not an F. Um, on the way, I thought I'd take a little walk down this street because it looks like it's bustling. People and street street entertainers. Well, it's called Mwing Wai Walking Street, this is, Mwing Wai. So, you ask the taxi driver, take him Mwing Wai Walking Street, then this is what you will, this is where you'll be dropped off. I mean, this is Vietnam, look at that. Sky rise buildings, everything going on. So, you know, gone is a day when it was, uh, war-torn um, third world country. This place is really going up in the world as far as being modernised and falling in line with 2022 I guess you could say. Modern technology and everything else. Moving with the times. Absolutely fantastic. Great to be here. Uh, street musicians, street entertainers. As I say, a bit like uh, Leicester Square in Vietnam. Absolutely amazing. Loads of people walking about just having an evening out, mainly families. Doesn't seem to be a lot going on here. Let's move along. Papa's chicken. Well, I'm trying to find Fatty's Sports Restaurant. I don't seem to be having much luck. But I've asked a couple of people. To sort of give me a funny look because I can't speak Vietnamese. English is very, very low spoken here. Um, unlike Thailand, where most people do speak it, here it's not really that well spoken and uh, can be a little bit difficult getting along. Thank God for uh, Google Translate. Full long. Yeah, let's hope it's down this street. Let's have a little look. Well, after a little trek through Walking Street and looking at a few other shops and everything around, I have found myself heading towards Fatty's. Look at that over there. 
Fatty's Sports Restaurant. Last, yeah, this is a very um, expat sort of area. For all the expats bars and uh, restaurants. And apparently if you're looking for, uh, I know, you know, when you're abroad, you shouldn't really go looking for Western food. You should eat food that's, you know, traditional to that area. There you go, look, Fatty's Sports Bar and Restaurant. Trying to cross the road is absolute murder. You just take your life in your hands. Zebra crossings don't mean a single thing here. You literally take your life in your hands and hope for the best. Rush. And here we are. Fatties. Go and check this place out. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. Looks like a bit of a sports restaurant, loads going on. At least they've got beer here, I suppose that's one thing. And, uh, so, yeah, Fancy's Bar in um, Ho Chi Minh. Saigon Free Spice, Vietnam. It's a bit of a sports bar restaurant. Loads of expats come here. Uh, well worth a visit if you want your traditional, traditional English food, British food, Western food, call it what you like. So here I am in uh, Fatty's Bar. And I've got myself a massive pint. Look at that. I've actually got a pint. Yeah. Do you know what? Amazing. That tastes good. So yeah, basically I'm going to order something to eat here. I'm going to check the menu in a minute and uh, see what sort of food they do. But yeah, really good to be here. Fatty's Sports uh, bar, bar Restaurant in Saigon. Ho Chi Minh, Saigon. Okay, so we've got Grumman here. He's the supervisor manager. I'm a manager of Fatty's. He's the manager of Fatty's and he's just bought me a little shot. And what is this? This is a caramel slice. Caramel slice. So that's why I only mention it's vodka, yep. caramel syrup, and lime. And so basically it's got a lime on top. So what do I do? Do I um, squeeze the lime? Well, so the way you drink it is you have caramel syrup at the bottom. Sweet flavour, okay. we chill the vodka, yeah. and we have the lime on top. So we want the sweet and sour balance. Yeah. So what you do is you eat the lime, yeah. keep the lime juice in your mouth, and you do the whole shot with the lime juice. Mm -hmm. All at once. How's that? Smooth, really nice one. Uh, got a little bit of a coffee sort of taste to it. Yeah, it's got a coffee kind of thing in. Yeah. It's just got that sweet salad. Yeah. Can you tell me some, a little bit something about this restaurant? Yeah. This restaurant, so Fatty's has been open 14 years. Yeah. Owned by Steve Hardy in there now. Okay. Lovely guy. Um, it's, we're going for like an Aussie type of thing now. So it's, yeah. it's one place on, in Hong Kong, which is the center of Taiwan. Yeah. Uh, we, we're trying to be more like a Western couple of tourists and as well as expats who live here. It's just a place for everyone. Even the big food uh, items, pizzas, and food and everything. And what's the address? Just tell people where, where, where how they can find you. The address is 46 to 48 from Tantu in Saigon, Dish and Club. Brilliant. Alright, cheers. cheers. Yeah. So there you go, a little bit about Fatty's Bar. Very nice too, just being given a free shot on the house. Um, yeah, excellent. And I'm really looking forward to the food. Quite a popular place. We do the expats within the community, and there's obviously quite a lot of expats that live around this area. Um, so it's a popular little bar. There you go.
going for some time now and people uh, love it. If you want your you know, traditional British food and obviously Aussie style food with also Vietnamese food thrown in if you want it as well, then well worth a bit this place. I haven't eaten yet but I will do in a minute. You know, as I say, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. So yeah, let's wait and see what the food is for. Checking out the menu here. Um, It's like a bit of a mixture. Matty sausage roll. Quesadilla, I don't know what that is. Quesadilla, any idea? Leave a comment below. Burgers. SOD, Vietnamese spring rolls, salads, pasta. Um, yeah, seems to be a lot more snacks going on. Oh, there's more here. Mains, bangers and mash. Wow, that could be interesting. A bit of a dodgy table here, so they're trying to move it around a little bit. Okay? Anyway, back to the menu. Um, Fatty's Grilled Barramundi. Certainly a lot of choice here. Pies cooked old fashioned, served steamed veggie and mash. Do you know what? I know I'm in Vietnam and I will be mainly eating Vietnamese food, but just for the hell of it, I'm going to have steak and ale. I'm going to have steak and kidney. Steak and kidney. Um, steak and kidney pie. Pies cooked the old fashioned, served with steamed veggie and mash. I uh, can't see any gravy there, but yeah, wait and see, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna go for the steak and kidney pie um, because it's a traditional British pub, apparently in Vietnam. So it could be interesting to see what this comes out like. Okay, well I'm in Fatty's Sports Restaurant, and this is where about one of the few places that you'll find Western food in Vietnam if you're looking for Western food. I haven't seen a roast dinner or a traditional Hindu's breakfast yet, which are a couple of things that I do actually crave for when I'm away. So I've gone for the steak and elk, steak and kidney pie, steamed vegetables and mashed potato in Vietnam. This could be interesting. Now, on to my main course. Cheers. It's taken out a sweet pie. So basically, I've got this uh, sort of puff pastry that's flat on top. Mashed potato, a pie mix. Um, I was wondering if any gravy would. I was wondering if they'd serve any gravy with it, but to be honest with you, we don't need to. The, um, there's enough gravy in this sauce uh, to not need any extra gravy. So, doing it in, it's very hot. Napkin. I'm just going to tip it all out. I hope for the best. Because I'm paying for it. I have to do it how I like. If someone doesn't like it, that's their problem, not mine. There you have it. What, um, yeah. Mashed potato. Steak and She did actually ask me how I'd like my um, steak and ale pie. She, she did actually ask me about like, my steak and ale I done. Um, medium, medium rare, well done. And I had to explain to her that she doesn't need to ask that for steak and ale pie. That's what you're asking for steak, not steak and ale pie. But she got the message and she was quite pleased that I told her. Uh, anyway, back to the food. So I've got myself a steak and ale steak. No, I do apologise. Steak and kidney pie. Yep, so far looking so bloody good. 
finish what I'm saying. It's not easy to combine a restaurant with um, a bar, so to speak. I know from experience because I've had my own bars and I've tried to combine the two and it's not easy. Anyway, on to the point. Fatties, that's how it's spelled, Fatties, P-H-A-E-double, yeah, Fatties. And there's the address there as well. Steak and kidney pie, which do you know what? I've cooked steak and kidney pies for years. And to be able to get it that right in a foreign country, I take my hat off to that chef. Well done. Uh, you know, the, the pastry, it's always been a bit of a shovel as to whether you put your short crust pastry or, or puff pastry on a steak kidney pie. Um, there's no right or wrong way to it, but these guys managed to get it like somewhere in between, which is absolutely fantastic. Well done. So yeah, Fatty's Sports Restaurant. This place, definitely worth a visit. Um, if you're in Saigon, if you're in uh, Ho Chi Minh, then I would highly recommend visiting this place and I've thoroughly enjoyed my meal. Uh, Chef's Travels, Kevin Hanton, thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs> 